So today I had a mail day. Actually, it hasn't been a mail day today. This mail day came in Monday. I held off on opening it because I was expecting another mail day. And it hasn't come yet. I checked my eBay and it's the status is it hasn't been shipped yet. So it does say it's going to arrive hopefully by the 28th of November, which... I wouldn't lie. I paid for it last week. I would have expected it to be here by last week. So, um, so what I'm going to do in, rather than showing an opening, I'm also going to do a binder show off today. Um, but first, let's get into the card I purchased. This is an eBay pickup. Um, it's a 2001 Upper Deck SPX Rookie Stars Autograph Mark to Share Rookie Auto. Uh, this one is numbered to 1500. This is not the low numbered one that goes for couple of hundred this is the other the higher option i hope to one day own the other one also but for now this is actually pretty damn sweet and i'm very happy to have it um i think there's also like a refractor version of this so i have to look into that and make sure that's the case anyway so basketball season is upon us i've been meaning to show off um some of my nick binders i'm going to show off my player pc which is patrick ewing my all-time favorite Nick. Um, I also am a fan of Bernard King. I haven't really been a fan of any of the more recent Nicks. The last guy I was PCing was David Lee, and I showed most of the David Lee cards I have in my um, two Nick videos, as well as the uh, Patch Ewing hits, which are not much. So what I'm going to do is show off the binder now. Take a look at the cards I have inside here. Here's one of those um, NBA Jam Session cards. Slam Dunk Heroes. Let's just take a look. There's a Refractor uh, Finest. Yeah, I probably wind up putting that in a top loader. I've been a Ewing fan. Actually, the first time I ever saw Ewing was when I was following St. John basketball. Uh, when I was in junior high school, St. John's was really good. They had Chris Mullen and Mark Jackson. And their biggest rival was Georgetown. And guess who was on Georgetown? That man right there. Um, so when Patrick Ewing was drafted by the Knicks at first, I wasn't too pleased because he was... Georgetown was the one that oust um, St. John's from the Final Four that year. And Georgetown went on to win the, uh, NB, I'm sorry, the NCAA uh, title that year. And I always felt that had St. John's not been knocked out, they may have at least made the Final Four. Um, I like that one right there, same club. It's got some shine on it. Top crop. There's a die cut right here from Metal, Clear Metal. I've been wanting this year, is one of my main goals, focuses. I like this over here also before I go on another Clear Metal. One of my goals is to add more cards to my collection. This is another one I really like a lot uh, with Patrick Ewing and the captain, Willis Reed. Probably two of the best Knicks. Top three, definitely. Um, for me, my top three best Knicks ever uh, would be Ewing, um, Frazier, and then Pat, and then Willis Reed. Um, this came off, so I'll just take a break, let it cool off, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Hopefully the light will stick up on this time. This one, this card over here is pretty cool. It's a Hollow Jam Upper Deck Hologram card, which is pretty sick. It's probably better. Yeah, you can see it better this way. And then over here you have a Topps Profiles card with uh, Ewing and David Robinson. I tell you one thing, I think the 90s inserts in basketball are some of the nicest inserts you're going to see in all sports. I like this red zone, or ER, I don't even know what it's called, ER zone. It's from Upper Deck, um, I'm sorry, not Upper Deck, uh, Stadium Club. But you got this force card right here. Doing dunking over Rodman. I love the past and present cards. The old school look that uh, Panini gave these cards was pretty darn cool. Got some 90s NBA hoops here. Clear. 
forgot what I was saying before. Look at this power card. It's beautiful. And I, I, I again, NBA inserts in the 90s. Some of the nicest cards you're going to find in any of the four sports. It's one of my first Ewing cards when I, was when I first started collecting basketball. Actually, no, I may have had one earlier. I think it was an NBA Hoops card that I may have had. So it might have been earlier. Ewing and Lonnie, Lonnie, uh, Lonnie Vivac. It was one of those sticker cards. Ewing NBA Hoops. I had to see Ewing play in the garden quite a few times. And back in the 90s, getting a ticket to the Knicks was like winning the lottery. You could not get a ticket to the Knicks. The Knicks, I think, had like seven years consecutive sellouts in the 90s. Love that beam team. And it's a shame Ewing never got to win a championship. Um, he had chances. He had chances in 94. Had Starks decided to pass him the ball when he was under the basket. Instead of trying to take that shot in game six when Elijah Wan uh, blocked it with his fingertips. Maybe the Knicks would have won that series against Houston. And then Ewing got injured in 99 in the playoffs and couldn't play against the Spurs. I don't think anyone was be beating the Spurs that year anyway. David Robinson and Tim Duncan, they were just too good. I love that Skylights card with a uh, giant Ewing over what appears to be New York City. That is just, I love the, again, nice one. Some of the nicest inserts you're going to find anywhere in any of the four sports. I like that Extreme Course card. Love this card also from the Topps Mirrored. I think this was the card I was thinking of. One of my first, when I first started collecting basketball. I My first basketball cards were early 80s, were like the early 80s when I first started watching the Knicks. When Michael Ray Richardson was on that team. I had a teacher bought me a pack of basketball cards and pulled those Knicks cards and I was, I loved it. Let's check out, I love this die cut also over here with the Star Tractions. That is just beautiful. Tops 40, this Ewing card over here is pretty sick. But then when I started collecting basketball, again, in, when I was in college, this was in the first pack that I pulled from NBA Hoops. I think a Jordan was in there also, which is a pretty nice card also over here. A championship spirit card. I was also at the, at the garden when Ewing reached the milestone. I really wish I could remember what that it was. It was in points. I know that. I just wish I could remember what exactly the milestone was. This row of Team USA cards. Don't, don't don't foul out and do drugs. Like that one over here with the shot of Madison Square Garden in the picture. Sorry about that. I was getting an alert that my uh, time was running low on the, on videoing. And I realized I had a couple videos on the camera that needed to be deleted. So this should do it for the good. Um, here's a Fleur Platinum. This looks like the Ewing Rookie card. Not the Ewing rookie card. I don't have the rookie Ewing rookie card. One of the things I want to get this winter is a Fleur Showcase card. I think it's cool. Yeah, I see. Yeah, it's under, it says Grace underneath there. That's a beautiful card. 
Some of these cards probably should be going in top loaders or magnetics, but I keep them all in the binder for now until I'm able to spread out a little bit more. I have more room and then maybe I could get some boxes to put them in. Remember NBA stuff, inside stuff, that TV series? Ahmad Rashad right there. Where they have him with is that the NBA is that the Larry is that the NBA trophy? That's gotta suck for Ewing that he's had to take a picture or do video with that trophy and he's never officially won it. This is an oddball card, the wild cards. That's his George that's his uh, Georgetown card, is the Hoyas. I may like you, Ewing, but I still have issues with the Hoyas. Although he's coaching the Hoyas now, and he just got his first win as a head coach, which is fantastic. I never understood why no one's given him a shot at, at coaching. He's been a coach in the NBA for a number of years now, but never got a shot at being the man. This is a nice card over here. And another thing I don't understand is why the Knicks haven't bought him back into the family. But then again, the Knicks do a lot of things I just don't understand. But I love this team, and I can't see myself ever rooting for another NBA team. That's another one I like right here, this lottery prize from Finest. And there's another one here, this card over here, the, the uh, net assets. I got a gold Bowman's best. I'm not sure if this is a refractor. I don't think it is. Yeah, this is not a refractor, so it's just like a chrome. But yeah, I don't think I could ever see myself rooting for any other team but the Knicks in basketball. Yeah, another holographic type card over here. That's another nice card over here. And final page. Got a couple of starting lineup cards here. Power in the key, that's a nice card there too. And twice for the a race for the playoffs. And that's it. That's my Ewing PC. Um, what you guys think? Please leave comments down below. Give a thumbs up to the video if you like the video, like what you see. Um, subscribe for more sports card content. Guys, thanks for watching the video. Uh, remember, collecting is the life. So learn to live it.